On June 5th of 2018, Kansas State University's College of Veterinary Medicine hosted its annual homecoming for the U.S.-China Joint DVM Scholarship Program. The program is sponsored by Kansas State University, the China Scholarship Council, Zoetis International Veterinary Collaboration for China, the Chinese Veterinary Medical Association, and Banfield Pet Hospital. The program consists of one-year pre-veterinary program at K-State and four-year veterinary programs at K-State or one of its partnering schools in the U.S. The U.S. China Center for Animal Health has guided the program through partnerships with the governments, universities, and animal health industry in the U.S. and China since the program was established in 2012. The event started off with warm welcomes from Interim Dean Dr. Bonnie Rush. It has been a cornerstone for this college's um, commitment and uh, an interest in, in mattering to the world, in having a global program. And so we're very proud of the students that we're sending back to China to improve animal health and human health in their country. The lone 2018 graduate, Dr. Aoli Chin, earned her Doctor of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Minnesota. Vet school is just a start point of our career. Lifelong learning is the key. So when I was interviewed five years ago, I told Dr. Plecker that I want to teach students, I want to make a difference in Chinese veterinary education. I told him that I cannot guarantee I can affect all the people that I have interaction with, but if I can influence them, two of them, and each of them influence another two people, then in a couple years later along the way, the number can be exponential. The program has started to show its important roles in advancing Chinese veterinary education and improving U.S.-China veterinary collaboration through its graduates returning to China. Dr. Yi Ding and Dr. Yao Qin, the 2017 graduates, have used the U.S. clinical rotation model to launch the Excellent Clinician Training Program at Wazhong Agricultural University. College is really interesting. Uh, uh, this program is important because uh, before we go back, uh, most of the students only uh, do research labs, uh, research in, in the lab, so they couldn't get uh, much uh, practical experience. And this is us uh, uh, teaching the uh, students to place casters and also uh, teach them to do physical exam. So we have to uh, train them from the very beginning. And just like we do here um, in the vet school, we run with them at the end of the day and let them talk about the cases they see. The homecoming event also included reports from 21 of the students who just finished their pre-veterinary year at K-State and or are currently working on their DVM degrees at K-State, the University of Minnesota, Iowa State University, and the University of California, Davis. I think the most surprising thing is um, you can never set your boundaries to yourself, but in America, you can try a lot of things. Because sometimes in China, I may think about what, what if other people will think of me. And, but in here, I think I will not fear of failure. I will just try everything. I think that's the most surprising thing. It's about self-discovery journey, actually, in the past year. I learned a lot of uh, effective teaching methods here at Kest at, at so like what I mentioned before, we use group then, we use peer evaluation, and we use turning point in class. Uh, as I probably will come back to China uh, after graduation and work as a college professor. So I will try to incorporate those methods when, I was, when I'm teaching my students. Representatives from the program's partnering universities gave their remarks and congratulations. The College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Minnesota continues to be a strong supporter of this program, and uh, we're grateful um, to all the supporters that uh, uh, helped with this, uh, including the Chinese Scholarship Council, Zoetis, Van Field, um, and that make, make this possible. Uh, and uh, we're certainly thankful to Kansas State University for what they do to make this work. You will be taking a role in academia, which is a very special role as a veterinarian. 
We are used to taking care of our patients, taking care of our clients. You will also have the opportunity to take care of the future generations of veterinarians. The veterinary students will come to your door and they place their little veterinary heart in your hand and say, nurture me, take care of me. Um, and that's also a pretty special role. So it's a great opportunity to be here. This is my first time here. And uh, I wanna say, but wow, congratulations to all of you from the pre-vet through the veterinary program. Uh, your accomplishments are fantastic. The College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Georgia is a new partner to the program. What I really see is the future of veterinary medicine in China. I'm really, really impressed at all of you. I'm impressed at how outgoing you are and how well adjusted you are. I knew you'd be really smart. I knew you'd, be, you'd work hard, but I've just really been impressed. So I congratulate all of you. A leadership seminar was incorporated into the event as one of the program's missions is to train future leaders in veterinary education and the veterinary profession in China. Dr. Daniel Asia, Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer at Banfield, and Dr. Trevor Ames offered advice and words of wisdom about what they have learned along the way. As the ceremony concluded, Dr. Ji Xu Shi, Director of the U.S.-China Center for Animal Health, expressed his gratitude for everyone involved with the program. Also, we remember the day we met you in your school, um, that Dr. Yi Ding and Dr. Xin Yao Qin, um, that what you did in the last year makes us all very proud of. That is really what this program is supposed to do. You know, are you ready? setting up new partnerships with universities. And that's, you know, we remember last year that you were all investors of the U.S. and China. So now you're making the connections uh, between the two countries already, and you're making the difference in the classroom. So that's really what the program is supposed to do. And I'm very proud of you. Thank you for the hard work you do.